So Colin Sexton, as we know, they're looking at a 15 to $22 million price range. They think it's more likely to 18 to 20, but look, it, sources have told cleveland.com shout out chris fedor of the cleveland plane dealer that sexton is expected to have multiple suitors while the washington wazers may have interest in a sign and trade detroit pistons and indiana pacers are viewed as the biggest threats in the front runners to land sexton if he does not stay in cleveland and at least one member of the cleveland cavaliers front office wonders if the pistons will make sexton a priority especially if dallas's star you could argue he's a star point guard stays in dallas with Jalen Brunson. I've made a video talking about Jalen Brunson. He's expected to get more money than, or at least the same contract as Fred Van Vliet received a year ago or a year or two ago, and, or even more. And I said that Jalen Brunson is going to set the precedent for where Colin Sexton goes and how much he makes because they're saying he's going to get Bogdan Bogdanovich money between 16 and $18 million. You know, Cleveland wants to pay him closer to 15 and 18 his camp wants to make 20 to 22 so it's expected they meet between that of 18 and 20 million a year and that'd be fine but Gar Darius Garland has said that it's out of his control when asked by Cleveland.com on his feelings if the Cavaliers are resigning Sexton the fourth year guard who's ahead of schedule and is recovery from a tour meniscus you know look Sexton is somebody that Garland wants back everybody wants him back but at the same time, paying him 20 plus million isn't worth it. And the thing is, is like I said in the other video, the Knicks, the Wizards, Pistons, the Pacers, the Pistons and the Pacers are trying to get their young guards with a, a sidekick or get their young guards to be a sidekick to develop next to an established player. You know, they would love that Brunson and Cade Cunningham. But if that doesn't work, it's a Cade Cunningham and Sex Sexton is a great option. Tyrese Halliburton and Sexton is a great option. Emmanuel Quickly and Sexton is a great option. Okay. Bradley Beal and Sexton, a great option. Obviously, if you're going to lose a player, you want to sign and trade him. You never want to be uncompensated when you got to lose a player. So, yes, there's a possibility that the, the Pacers or the Pistons put an offer out there that blow the Cavs out the water, and they're like, hell to the no. We ain't paying that. No. But there's also a chance that the Wizards come over and are like, hey, we might not we'll pay him the same amount of money as you guys are, but we'll send over Rui Hachimura and Daniel Gafford. Well, you guys really don't need Daniel Gafford because you have Jared Allen, Evan Mobley and Kevin Love and Lowry Markkinen. So maybe they say, Hey, we'll send you Contavious Codwell Pope. Okay. And Daniel Gafford and Rui Hachimura for Sexton and Kevin Love. And maybe we throw them a first round pick and that there you go. You get yourself Rui Hachimura, Daniel Gafford is a great backup center. And you get yourself Contavious Caldwell Pope, a 3 and D guy that you guys need, plus a first round pick. You send over Kevin Love, you get rid of that contract. Okay. And Contavious Caldwell Pope's contract's expiring. And then it's only like 10 million a year for Daniel Gafford for like two or three years after that, starting next year. So that's a great deal. And you get a first round pick. You don't lose anything. You come back compensated. You dislocate discard disload whatever you want to call it the kevin love deal and now you have yourself three players that you got for just sexton and kevin love and a first round pick that's not a bad deal tell me any other picks you guys think that or trades that you guys think would be good i think the pacers who would they i don't think they would do a trade the pistons send jeremy grant but that wouldn't happen that i don't even know if the contracts matter i mean they would have to send over kevin love I think at that point you would be attaching a pick instead of getting a pick. You always want to be compensated when you're going after players. That's at least my philosophy. Again, I always say this. I'm a guy just behind a microphone. And specifically today, I'm a guy behind a microphone in his mother's basement, which is even worse. It will be the last day that I'm in my mother's basement because while you're watching this, I will be mid of an 18-hour drive from Maryland to Kansas back home. Well, yeah, back home. That's where my apartment is. That's where I live year-round. I don't even have a room here at my mother's house. So the baby jazz is napping. She is not happy that I'm making videos. Nah, she doesn't mind. But hopefully I have, you guys enjoy all this content I made while I was driving. Check out the NBA show. Like and subscribe. We broke 100 subscribers. Had a video pop off. Definitely go check it out daily. Very much enjoy it. Hey, I hope you guys do enjoy it. I love y'all. I seriously do. I very much do. That's the video. We're milking it to five minutes. Tell me if you made it to the end of the video because I love people who make it to the end of the video. It's so cool. If you make it to the end, it's awesome. Goodbye.